Hello and uh, welcome to the first part of several uh, videos covering the HTC Titan 2 also known as the Kaiser and also known as the HTC P4550 uh, so good obviously they named it three times now until recently I owned an HTC Touch which was an absolutely excellent piece of kit. I've got some other videos on those. Um, uh, but the uh, uh, reason I bought this one was, well, being a lover of gadgets. Um, and uh, I also had a credit card, which was doing nothing at the time. And uh, has now got a big hole burnt in it. Um, which my wife will make me pay for, but there you go. Um, and uh, I just uh, fell in love with the idea of this particular piece of kit because it had so much in it and um, being a very uh, heavy user of pocket PCs and also sat nav it seemed to be a perfect marriage of uh, equipment for me so that's the reason I went for this particular item. There's uh, quite a few videos on YouTube for the HTC Titan 2 uh, particularly unboxing so I'm not going to do that let's just have a look around the piece of kit um, obviously the uh, first thing that uh, a lot of people know about this uh, item is that it's got a sliding keyboard, uh, nothing particularly new there. Um, but the uh, obviously the important piece is the fact that it tilts uh, like that, which um, for me is very useful. I work in an office and uh, I put this on my desk in front of me, it's syncing up with my PC as I do that and it's very useful to have this slight laptop design um, to be able to see uh, the uh, the screen so clearly with the tilt mechanism I think that's a great idea um, it's uh, only a short step away from a clamshell I think if they just flipped it over the other way um, and I'm sure HTC will be coming up with some new designs and some new toys to tempt me but uh, I shall have to stick with this one for quite a while now um, but that aside, let's have a look at the construction of the device. A lot of people have been saying it's very, very rugged, and I would agree with that. It is built very nicely. Just have a look at the back of it there. Um, that is a metal plate all across the back. You can see there where the, um, the SIM card goes in on the back of the screen. Um, but very solid construction. At the bottom there, and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, you can see that there's a second plate at the bottom just along here which is what the screen sits on and either side here you've got little runners which is what the uh, sliding mechanism rolls on if you like and it uh, does so very neatly um, so it's uh, very very solid from that point of view and uh, just by the just uh, as I did that, you'll probably notice how quickly the, um, the screen rotated. Let's do that again. Not too bad. Quite quick on the, on the screen rotation, I think. Let's try and get a better look at the quality of the device. Um, obviously, the video compression on YouTube um, will mean that you won't get so good a view, but we'll, we'll give it a go. You can see the buttons here on the outside edge um, of the... Uh, buttons at the base of the screen here is a chrome effect around there I've just got the stylus out there just to help me so I can point to things a little bit better the center or execute button has also got a bit of a, a chrome finish um, you have um, a couple of soft keys um, there and there and also a key to start Internet Explorer and also one for messaging that's a D-pad so you've got basically four-way control in the centre button making it five-way answer key, uh, answer call rather end call um, you've got a windows button which brings the uh, drop-down menu and also an OK button which is rather good in fact there's no shortage of OK buttons you've got an OK button on the side just there and if you slide the keyboard open You've got another OK button there, so uh, a plethora of OK buttons. Um, it's actually quite an old-fashioned design, I think, um, the way that they've uh, designed this, but um, the actual buttons themselves are quite positive. Um, no, no real problems with them. I don't think they look particularly great, but they are very solid. 
So let's have a look around the machine a bit more. Again, you probably have seen these on uh, other videos, but um, while we're here, we might as well go through it. There's the OK button. And there's the uh, jog dial, um, which you can probably hear clicking away. It's actually the sound on the machine clicking rather than the button itself. And it's also you can uh, press it in like that to execute. Um, that is a record button but actually what I did is I've reprogrammed that button um, to uh, change it from uh, portrait to landscape mode and back again like that. Um, I never use the record facilities on these things um, or voice recording and I thought that was a better use for the button. You can actually program the buttons. On the other side of the machine you've got the power button so switch off switch on. Um, some people have said that all that button does is switch the light off. Uh, that's not true. It puts it into standby which is a, a very different thing from just uh, sw switching the uh, the backlight off. Um, so it is not a case that it just does that. It puts it into genuine standby. Um, here you've got the camera button and obviously if you press that then the actual camera will come up uh, and there it is. There's the camera. Um, <clears throat> the interesting thing about that, <coughs> excuse me, is that it's um, an autofocus camera, which means that on that button there it has two stages halfway down to, uh, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but halfway down to focus. There you go, it's focused, and then still holding it and then pressing it firmly takes the picture. Um, and uh, that's uh, therefore a two two stage button half down all the way down on the front of the device you've got a uh, camera for video conferencing or video calling that's the earpiece for the phone and as you can see there's LEDs there showing in this case Bluetooth and also the uh, phone activation there's also an amber light there when the uh, GPS is in operation it will flash amber as well just the HTC logo, bottom of the screen we've already seen and it's surrounded by quite a nice brushed metallic finish uh, grey in colour uh, plate um, which actually does bring it off quite nicely the side of the machine um, is surrounded by a fairly shiny plastic casing for the, uh, the screen itself and the rest of the machine is a much smoother matte black finish which is very very nice to the touch and feels like quality uh, 3 megapixel camera on the back um, frankly I'm completely and utterly unimpressed with the camera more about that later perhaps that grill there is the external speaker very loud rather like the HTC touch which had an excellent uh, speaker on it this too has a great speaker and that is a rubber um, insert which you can pop out and inside you've got um, access to external GPS antenna port or external phone port. Underneath you've got a lanyard connector, the traditional HTC oddly shaped mini USB port but it takes ordinary USB connectors as well reset button and the door for the micro SD card um, I've got a six gigabyte um, micro SD card in here I think they go up to about eight gigabyte these days um, SDHC compatible so you can get bucket loads of storage through the uh, micro SD uh, card one of the nice things is the display. It's six. Uh, it's 240 by 320. Um, more about that later. Very bright. It's not on the brightest setting at the moment. Let's have a quick look. You can see it gets brighter. I've got it on that setting at the moment, but very clear, very crisp. Okay, that'll do for this part, and uh, we'll come up uh, with some more information about this very nice piece of kit uh, in some more videos soon. For the moment, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.